Hello friends, this is Wendy, and I am a paper crafter, a scrapbooker, a junk journaler. I love all things Tim Holtz and, and Disney, <laughs> and um, I am happy to have you with me today. I have struggled a little bit for a couple of days. Um, part of it is, you know, it's the holidays, and so there's parties and stuff like that that I need. Need. <laughs> Need. I need to eat chocolate ice cream. Need. Yeah. I shouldn't. You know I shouldn't, but I do. Anyway, I have been struggling with this. I have three photos that go with the New Orleans Square. Um, nothing. Um, we, we did ride Pirates of the Caribbean, and there are no uh, Santa packages at all on, on the Pirates of the Caribbean. But, so I have been looking at different papers. I have a couple of a couple of struggles here. So here's one. If I fold this this way, which I do like this paper, I feel like it kind of has a pirate vibe to it, and and this looks good on it. But if I fold it, so I have pirate. I mean, or New Orleans Square here, white, which is fine. You know, you can always decorate it. But then I have this across from what I'm gonna do for Toontown. I, and I do have some um, Chippendale pictures as well. Um, you know, I should pull those out. Just see how badly this really looks. So, I'm not sure this is terrible. I'm not sure it's a terrible background at all. Changes everything. Well, or some things. I have this picture that I'm definitely going to cut down. And then this one. And this one for this page. Hmm. So maybe this isn't terrible. Maybe put the, the diamond look, the harlequin look. But I could still do that. I could still ink this, this page. Put this on white. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's, let's, let's try this. Because this is going to be the center of my book. As you know, this particular, uh, not book, um, signature. But this particular signature has gotten really large. And has sort of, um... I don't want to put too much more bulk in it. I don't want it to be super heavy. So let's let's try inking this. Okay, so this this stencil, which is uh, THS zero one six, is definitely one of my favorites. I think I will I think I will tape. If you don't already know, I have some painter's tape that is sitting on the side of my desk. It eventually loses its stick and then I have to wad it up and throw it away, but I do have some that is still sticking. So I am going to use one of these little brushes. They're called, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but they're called like makeup brushes for crafting. <laughs> so. so let's see how this does. I do want to kind of go in a, in a circle, well, not a circle, but in a crescent. How's that? I want to go into a crescent. As I do this, I am using black soot and I'm using the Distress ink, not the oxide. I was thinking about using the oxide because I think it gives a darker look. I also was thinking of using, I have this also in, so I have this in um, a die cut. The die cut is simply called Mixed Media. It's an older one, but I did find it on Amazon. So it's still out there. This stencil is still out there. 
There are other stencils that are not Tim Holtz that are out there. Tim Holtz also has ones that are similar to this that are called shape shapers. No. Oh, shifters. There we go. They're called shifters. And uh, so you can use multiple colors with them. So like you could use black with them this way and then move them and then have like purple the next one or whatever. Um, I do have, I think I have one shifter, but I don't have that one. I do want to go below here. So I'm just gonna line this up. I want to go way down here. Let me pull this up so you can see it. I'll tape that there and I'll tape that there so I can just kind of finish this off with a little bit over here. Okay, maybe I will go. Okay. So I like that. I may go across the top too. But I was thinking about Oh, I thought all kinds of different things. If you know me at all, you know that many, many, many things crossed my mind. And this was not what I was planning on doing today. <laughs> but it is now. Let's see how this looks. Let me find the, the photos. Now let's see how this looks. I do like this. And I could put New Orleans Square down here, which I probably will. I did think about fussy cutting it out, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just put white around it. So I'm gonna start with white and see how that looks. Okay, so I put white around it and I don't think it does anything for it. So let's try black. Let's see. Oh, definitely. I definitely like the black. It makes the colors just pop. You know, sometimes it's the white that makes the colors pop, and sometimes it's the black. So I will get this on there. <laughs> Definitely gonna put New Orleans Square here, just not this minute. <laughs> uh, and just in case you don't know, in case you're new and you don't know. So if you have a photograph, you want to adhere the photograph to paper with tape. Probably not this tape because I'm not happy with it, but I'm gonna use it until it's gone. Um, and then once you have your photo on paper, then you can ad adhere paper to paper with glue. And I like PVA glue. I'll show you which PVA glue I like. There are other glues out there, but I do like the PVA glue. Um, permanent adhesive. So I don't know what the V stands for. Permanent something adhesive. Um, anyway. Dries clear. I, I like this one. And I can get this on um, subscription, you know, the subscribe and save by Amazon. And then I like to cover my photos, and it's a habit from being a scrapbooker, but I like covering my photos with um, page protectors. I just barely got some from Amazon. I got the 8.5 by 11, so I don't have to cut up my 12 by 12 page protectors anymore. And I cut it basically to size, then I use the score tape, and this is the score tape I've been using, and I like it, and it works well. So I will probably continue to get more of that. And it is, for the most part, it's transparent. Um, you really don't see it unless you're looking for it. So, so that's, that is that. Now on to page two. I definitely want to cut this guy down. I have these two. 
and I can either add paper to go behind or I can make my own pattern paper background. So do I need him too? What do you think? Okay, so we are going to do something with this, probably again with that same stencil, which I like. Um, and I do like both, both views of Santa. It was really interesting. I was coming around a corner and this was staring me right in the face. It was kind of um, eerie. <laughs> this looks very New Orleans, very uh, Mardi Gras. Uh, Mardi Gras for Christmas, right? I'm going to even these guys out so they are the same size. So when I was a little girl, there was a, a show called Captain Kangaroo. Give me a big thumbs up if you remember Captain Kangaroo. Thumbs up. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, Captain Kangaroo would tell us to have our mo mothers save us a shoebox and to put things in it like scissors and crayons and construction paper. And he said, with, with those items, we could create anything. Uh, these are Tim Holtz stamps. Um, I just recently learned because uh, somebody who was on Tim Holtz Addicts um, which is a Facebook, <laughs> couldn't think of that for a minute. I kept wanting to say YouTube, but it's a Facebook page and, um, with lots of many, if not most of his makers are on there and, uh, they will answer questions and somebody had found one of, not maybe this one, but something like this that was sort of a smaller, a smaller grouping of items, right? Now you can find these also on something else, but he made these um, into a smaller grouping and it was for a, a limited release. That's the word I was looking for, sorry. Oh, I'm thinking, okay, so red, uh, probably black would be the best. I was thinking purple, but there's no purple on here, so. And I might, I might actually pull out my foam so anyway, they were told, and, and that's when I learned it, and it was just earlier this week that um, Tim Holtz has a, an index of all of his stamps and dyes and uh, texture fades and other things, because he has, he has other things too. I mean, he has, you know, inks and, and all of that, right? So all of his products, when they come out as a limited edition, they they are not on his index that you can go through and see what it, what he has, what the names of everything are, you know, things like that. So this these were from a limited edition. They were probably something that he partnered with either Michael's or Joanne's, and I bought them there years ago. But you can find these in our red rubber stamp edition in a bigger thing. And since since stamps are made by Stampers Anonymous, they are never, ever retired. So that's always a plus. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do, where's the other one? Here. So here is that same Harlequin. And I would like to get this in a larger red rubber stamp. So I may have to go on Stampers Anonymous page to find that, at their uh, website, to find that to get that. One day, one of his makers uh, had told me once that she generally buys things directly from like she'll buy it from ranger inks by the way you've got to look in look it up as ranger inks not just ranger because next thing you know you're going to get a national park <laughs> a u.s national park as the <laughs> with your search 
And unless you, you know, really want to go to Yosemite or, or the Grand Canyon or Zion National Park, you need to put in Ranger Inc. So, if I had done these in the um, oxide, they would have come out darker. But I decided this was out. This was on my desk. This will be fine. So this one, at least I can line up. Uh, I came close. Good enough. Let me show you something else I did today. Um, it works. Uh, the paint did not come off as easily as I had hoped. I did not use uh, Tim Holtz paint because I don't have black in his uh, Distress paints because his are water-based. Um, anyway, I used, I used something I got at Walmart, right? And then I did it on the side here, and I didn't catch the two very well, so I may have to do that later. But, uh, yeah. And I can see them so much better, so even though this is now dark, uh, <laughs> this makes me happy. I almost forgot the most important thing because, you know, inking is everything. So I'm going to now ink the outside and the fold so that I don't scooch over onto another page. Okay, so now it is time to finish this page. And I'm just so terribly clever that the title is going to be New Orleans Square because I don't have any other better title to put down. Um, I'm just checking to see if this is a good size. This is my favorite. This is Theory. Theory. There we go. I don't know what I really said, but <laughs> theory, theory. And I think this is going to work. And I also was looking at colors, and I could pick up this green. In fact, uh, see, I think the purple really looks good. I think it looks good on this paper. It picks that up. So I'm going to do it out of this purple. I might, before I do that, I might ink. Um, uh, I would do it on this side that's not, like this one has texture. I don't know if you can see that, but it has texture. I might do it on the non-texture side and just ink words. I think I will. I'll do that first. So I'm going to do this with Ledger. It's my favorite. And with black soot, but archival ink, so that it won't uh, smear or anything. see where I had stamped the uh, the ledger um, I I probably if I'd really wanted it to show I should have uh, 
embossed it. Even if I had embossed it in clear, it would have been more noticeable than what I did. So, you know, um, I will add um, page protector to this page. I'm going to wait until I do this page first because I might do it on this page. This one, I didn't hardly leave any room to put the page protector down, though I could. So we'll see what I do on this page. Um, anyway, and then I will go on to, well, both of these are going to be Chippendale. So, and then we will move on. Uh, this is still in that, well, this is going to be the last signature, but it's the first one that I have done on here. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Happy holidays, although, you know, pretty soon it's not going to be holidays anymore. So happy, happy everything. And um, we'll see you later. Bye.